What's up guys, today I want to tell you how to transfer your rose tokens to the Emerald EVM compatible paradigm. Let's get into it. In order to make this work, you're going to need to import your private keys, which is something I would never do for my personal wallet. So, I created a separate Brave wallet completely new for this demonstration. You can use your MetaMask private keys if you want, however. As always, this is not financial advice, but I never suggest handing over your private keys unless you trust the other party completely. Step one is to download and set up an Oasis network wallet. If you don't know how to do that, pause this video and check out my previous video on setting up an Oasis network wallet by clicking the link in the top corner. Next, if you haven't already, you're going to need to set up a MetaMask or Brave wallet to work on the Emerald Paratime. Like I said before, I'm going to use Brave for this demonstration, but the steps are very similar if you're using MetaMask. First, open your Brave wallet and click the Expand button. Then select the Accounts tab, followed by the Settings icon. Select Network and then the Add button. Fill in the information, I'll leave it all down in the description below. And when done, click Submit. Now, if you haven't already, go buy and transfer some Rose tokens to your Oasis Rose wallet from any of the available exchanges that offer it, like Binance or Kucoin. Today's video is brought to you by Pixel Oasis, the first metaverse and NFT project launching on the Oasis Emerald chain with 1,000 unique NFTs that produce yield. I'll leave links to their website, Twitter, and Discord in the description, so don't miss out on the very first Pixel NFT ecosystem on the Oasis Emerald chain. Open your Oasis wallet and select the circle in the top right corner to go to Account Management. Select the Import tab and then select the Ethereum Compatible Private Key tab. Create your account name. I'm going to go with More Coin Emerald, but you can choose whatever name you want. Then, enter your private key from the MetaMask or Brave wallet. Hey guys, smash that like button to support the channel so I can keep making these videos. And if you want to chat, join the MoreCoin Discord by clicking the link in the description below. It's a great place to talk to and learn from other crypto and DeFi enthusiasts. And best of all, it's free. Join the MoreCoin Discord today. Well, wait till after you finish the video. Okay, back to it. To find your private keys on your Brave wallet, go into your wallet and select the Accounts tab. Select the account you'd like to add. Now click the QR code icon. Select the private key tab, then click show key and copy the private key. Back in the Oasis wallet, paste the private key in the box and click confirm. When you navigate to the accounts page in the Oasis wallet, you should see your new Ethereum compatible account listed. Okay, so now that that's set up, select the Oasis account that you want to send Rose tokens from and select Paratime at the bottom of your wallet. Under the Emerald chain, select to Paratime. Input how many Rose tokens you would like to transfer and the address for your Ethereum compatible account, then click Next. Confirm the details are correct, then wait for the confirmation page to load. If you go to your Brave or MetaMask wallet, you should see your Rose token balance there. To send your funds back to the Oasis consensus layer, select the Ethereum compatible account in the account management section. Then on the main page, select Paratimes. Click the To Consensus button. Now input how much Rose to send and the address you want to send it to. Confirm, and you're all set. Make sure to look into Pixel Oasis, today's video sponsor. Let me know down in the comments if, like me, you're getting one of their NFTs. Next, you should check out my video on the Oasis Network to learn more about why I think it has massive potential. I'll see you in the next video, and we can keep talking about getting more coins.